Hi, we're Andy and Pierce from Me and My Golf, and we're going to show you exactly how to video your golf swing correctly and what to look for to help you with your golf swing. Pierce, we've all got access now to phones where we can have the slow mo on and, and video our golf swing. But where do we start? Yeah, well, first of all, let's make sure it is in slow mo, but let's actually talk about the front on view first of all. So, what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is consistent. So, whenever you look at this over the next few months, that you know that the image is from the right distance apart and it's consistent. So, what we're looking for is we're looking for when you're setting up to the golf ball that that camera from the front on view is four paces away from you. Now, if you haven't quite got the room on the driving range as you're on it, it's okay as long as you make sure it's the same distance. If it's two paces, then that's absolutely fine, but make sure it's consistent. We ideally like four paces. And then from there, as far as height is concerned, we want the camera at hand height. Very important that you do that. And then from there, as far as alignment's concerned, we want that camera pointing at 90 degrees to your target line. You'll notice on the ground here, Andy, I've got some help here from some alignment sticks. So we've got one here running at 90 degrees to the target line, and we've got one running parallel to the target line. So once you're set up, you can hit a shot in slow-mo. Let's just show you the three main things that we want to work at and analyze on this video. So the first one is we get a line from the ankle, the right ankle, always the right hip. That's the sway line. We can then also put a circle around the head, and then from there we can have what we call the hanging back line where we go vertically upwards from the outside of the lead ankle. So what we're ideally looking for, Andy, is that when we swing back that our right leg stays against that, that line on the sway line or it can move inside ever so slightly, that's fine, making sure we get a good hip turn. You'll notice that the head is relatively steady with an iron, a little bit of movement is okay, that's absolutely fine. But then as we swing down into impact, we want to be moving towards that hanging back line so when I'm striking the golf ball, Hopefully I'm up against that line or I'm very close to it. What we don't want to see is that we have a sway in the backswing with the lower body or we have a sway in the backswing with the upper body and we don't want to see when we're striking the golf ball that we are hanging back on that right side and staying clear of that front line. If we're doing any of those three, it can really affect the shots. There's so many things that you could look for, but just drawing these three simple lines in is going to give you a great start just to understand what the body's doing really. Yeah. Okay, well, let's hit one. Let's see how I actually uh, match up when it comes to those three, Andy. All right, see what we've got. Seven iron in play. Oh, that was all right. Right, so as far as the down the line is concerned, again, make sure it's in slow-mo, and again, it's really important that we get the right height on this one. So as far as distance away is concerned, we want to go four paces back again, so four and four. Hand height again with the camera, running through the hands, making sure that we have it there. You'll see why in a moment. But also, as far as placement is concerned here, you'll notice this alignment stick I've got on the ground now parallel to my target line. It's directly below my hands. So we want the camera pointing at my hands, parallel to the target line. Now, the good thing about this is when you're looking through that camera lens now, if this line again is going straight on that camera lens, you know you've got this perfect. So this T-square, it really is important. So the main thing that we're looking for when we're videoing down the line is the swing plane. So how good is your swing plane? This can really help control the consistency of your ball flight. So the way that we measure this is we draw a line from the heel of the golf club and it goes underneath the right elbow and continues out the back of the body. So what this is good for now, this is good for seeing whether you are on plane in your backswing or your downswing. So if I'm above the plane like so, that's no good. If I'm too much under and then I'm coming over, we don't want to see those. What we'd like to see is that it's almost like I'm drawing that plane line with my club head. It's like a paintbrush back down and back through. So if we can actually get the club head working up that plane line on the way back and down that plane line on the way down, it's going to help you a lot with your consistency, which every golfer is after, A lot of Andy. golfers, they all say, how can we be more consistent? Well, look, this is one of the key elements. The best players in the world are swinging it, not dead on, but as close to that swing plane as possible. And if you can do that and monitor that, you're going to, you know, you're going to learn some great things that you can change within your golf swing. Yeah, we once heard a famous golf coach say, the only time to get off the plane is at the airport. So hopefully we can keep this club head when I hit this shot. I'm under pressure now, Andy, as close to that plane as possible. So make sure the setup's good. Again, make sure you got it in slow-mo. Let's see how close I can get it. Oh, I don't care what the swing plane said, Andy. Look at that, it was a good one. It's gone straight, so it must be pretty close. <laughs> okay, hope that helps. Remember, if you're gonna video your golf swing, use those guidelines and draw those lines to help you with your golf swing.